Welcome back to the shipyard and another review corner. Today we're taking a look at the USS Enterprise refit. This came out first in wave six. It's coming out again in wave 32, uh, July of 2017. First came out in July of 2014. Yeah, this is a 3144 Constitution class. USS Enterprise, so you can't run this and Kirk's Enterprise from TOS, which makes sense. This is just a refit. This is the same Enterprise that we saw in the motion picture and Wrath of Khan. It's the same ship, just looks different. And uh, yeah, this is the ship that finally got a good model, not a little tiny key ring. So this ship does a couple of things well. One, eight durability, three attack dice, perfect for type eight upgraded. Second thing it does well, it's got four crew slots. Let me repeat that, four crew slots. There are not many ships in this game that have four crew slots. So if you want a ton of crew slots, this is the ship. The named ability here, action. Disable up to two of your active shields. For each shield you disabled with this action, gain plus one attack die for all of your attacks with your primary weapon this round. How can this be useful? Additional phaser array. Because APA uses your primary weapon. Hmm? The thing. Yeah, normally action for an extra attack die, or even two. Not really worth it, but for double, yeah, I think it's uh, got a place. Maneuver dial here, not great, but six green moves, which uh, doesn't show up all that often. Two reverses red, three turns are red, but two turns are white, gets a four straight. I'm okay with that. 180 arc, no rear arc, but eh, uh, that's okay. Generic. Loses a crew slot, loses the new ability, loses a shield, uh, but still a 3143 with three crew slots and a weapon slot for 22 points. Uh, that's playable in my world. Uh, it's not fantastic. Our Admiral is James T. Kirk, a plus two skill, or an eight skill captain, both with a talent slot. It'll cost you five points. Action, fleet action. Target a ship at range one. Disable one upgrade of your choice on the target ship. It's okay. Not the best ability in the world. But if you're not running a Kirk, you want the plus two skill boost. You can't get it any other way. It's an admiral with plus two skill. That much is at least different than a lot of other things you see. Our big skill captain here is Mr. Spock. Skill 6 with a talent slot 4 points. Your ship may perform a target lock or a scan action as a free action each round. I like Spock. I think that he's got a legitimate place in the game. Free target lock, always nice. Better dice quality. Free scan enables some, some neat combos. Crew Spock is one of those combos that you would want to enable, but... Uh, there are other things that work. Dimitri Valtain is certainly a natural combination with Captain Spock, and that's not bad at all. He feels a little overpriced, but he's still a worthwhile captain. The other captain here is Will Decker. Skill 3. No talent slot. Costs you 2 points. During the modify attack dice step, you may destroy one of your active shields to add one additional crit result to your attack roll. This is a fantastic ability. Adding a crit is just piling on, do more, just make it hurt. Uh, don't do this against interface generator. They'll absorb it, and that doesn't help. But if you know you're going to get through to their hull, and you know this is going to make a difference, then do it. It's extra damage. He works fantastically on the Equinox, because then you can actually get your shields back. But even if you're not going to run him on the Equinox, the price of paying a shield to do a guaranteed crit is 
pretty worthwhile price. Our talents in this pack are the needs of the many. Uh, this is a four point unique and says action. Discard this card and one of your crew upgrades with an SP cost of three or higher to repair up to three of your shields. It's a good talent, but it's very costly. It's an action. You have to have the right kind of crew. And getting back three shields is not a guarantee. I would almost always rather have cheat death. Yeah, it's one more point, but that's the kind of talent that I like to have. Our other talent is self-destruct sequence. Action. You cannot attack this round. At the end of the next activation phase, after all ships have moved, destroy your ship and roll a number of attack dice equal to your whole value to damage every ship within range one of your ship. These ships do not roll defense dice against this damage. You cannot use the Cheat Death Elite Talon upgrade in conjunction with this attack. This upgrade may only be purchased for a Federation ship. Yeah, I have big problems with this talent because you're telegraphing. You are telling your opponent that you're blowing up in a round. It's not worth it. It's never worth it to do this. You want something that controls when you blow up. You want Romulan self-destruct sequence as a tech. You want ramming attack. You want any of the other cards that let you say, I'm blowing up right now, or I'm blowing up at the end of the activation phase. You don't want the end of the next one it's bad there's a copy of photon torpedoes nobody cares uh so that brings us to crew we do get savic in this pack she is three points unique you may disable this card at any time to replace one scan or battle station token that is beside your ship with one evade token now of course at any time now means between phases so really this is at the end of the activation phase, before the start of the combat phase, you can do this. Um, what's that worth to you? If you scanned, thinking you were going to attack, and you have no one in your forward firing arc to attack, or no eligible target to attack, you can say, I'm going to evade. Is that worth disable and three points? I don't think so but maybe maybe i don't know she really needs a rework because of the at any time she was hurt unnecessarily by that ruling another version of pavel Chekhov. Uh, also three points when attacking with your primary weapon during the modify attack dice step of the combat phase you may disable this card to re-roll all of your blank results you must keep the results of the second roll you know, that's cool. Disable, reroll blanks, pseudo target lock. You have a battle station token. Maybe it lets you convert, maybe it doesn't. Again, we need a ruling there. Powell's okay. It's an interesting effect. Feds don't have a lot of that going on, so yeah, I'll take it. Neoto Ahura, also three points. At the start of the activation phase, you may disable this card to add plus two to your captain skill. Until the end phase. Again, cool effect. Three points to do that. In my book, might as well be a discard because once it's disabled, do I really want to spend an action to be able to do that again? I don't think so, but uh, maybe there's a time to do it. I, I don't know. Montgomery Scott, five point unique at any time. This time it actually means at any time. You may disable this card to prevent one ox power token from being placed beside your ship. Uh, why is that truly at any time? Because it gives you a timing with which it can be done. It's an immediate reaction. Cool effect. Or action. Discard this card to immediately repair up to two damage to your ship's hull. Again, cool. I like the second part as well pays for itself basically whole damage is a little weak in terms of repair i'd like to also be able to do shields if i so desired but the flexibility here is actually a place where i don't hate paying the extra point i don't love it 
but I've run this version of Scotty in conjunction with, I think it's Enterprise A Kirk, the one that gives me discount on my crew and lets me do time tokens instead of disable. And that's where the Scotty came into play. So, yeah, the Scotty's useful if you want to pull the reverse, then you can still do a reverse and take actions. So, an interesting use there, and uh, I, I like him. Hakaru Sulu, uh, three points action. If your ship is not cloaked and you performed a green maneuver this round, perform a sensor echo action. You may use this action even if your ship does not have the sensor echo action on its action bar. You may only use the one straight maneuver template for this action. Is this Sulu playable? Yes. Is this Sulu absolutely better than the tiny prize Sulu? No. Can you find a use for him? I think so. It's going to depend on your build and what you want to do with it. I think there's ways that this could have been done better and still accomplish the exact same effect, but that's being able to look back at it. Eh. Leonard McCoy, two-point crew, uh, action, remove two disable upgrade tokens from your crew upgrades. A cool card, other things do it better. I'm looking at Flocks, specifically, uh, the Doctor, but he's two points. I can't hate him for that. Do I run him? No, but does he deserve to exist in this game? Sure. And the last crew and card in this pack Aaliyah, four point unique. You do not lose your perform action step when you overlap another ship's base. So you can bump and you can still do stuff. Not a ton of applicability in Fed, but uh, she has a place in some really cool cross faction stuff. Species 8472 is really interesting with biological attack. Dominion is really interesting with Energy Dissipator for this. I always feel like she's a bit overpriced, but her effect is definitely unique in this game. Delta Flyer 2 Balana tried to copy this and uh, did it significantly worse. Lee is cool though. So overall, this is a pack that I like, I don't love, but I don't hate. The ship is interesting. The captains, playable. The upgrades have a place. It's a niche pack. You, you can fit things in here and there. You, you can plug things in and make them work. Maybe there's something that's done better here and there. But a lot of these cards are thematic. A lot of these cards are pretty good versions of TOS crew movie era crew and that has nostalgia purposes you know I, I can't give it a ringing endorsement i can't say this is the best pack go buy it but i can say if you get it you're going to enjoy yourself you're, you're going to have fun is it the most competitive pack no the competitive rating on this pack is pretty low but the casual rating on this pack is pretty high. Sometimes that's okay. I have to remind myself to not always look at things through a purely competitive lens. And uh, packs like this help me do that. So that's the Enterprise refit. I hope you guys enjoyed a look back and a slight look ahead at what's coming. Thank you guys for watching, and until next time, we'll see you around the shipyard. Take care.